Good morning. Well, a, a, a tragedy. A tragedy this morning. <clears throat> I came out to check on the chicken eggs. And the controller was broken, the light was stuck on. And I looked in there and I had several chicks that was hatched, a bunch of eggs that were cracking open, they were they were getting out, they were hatching. I was gonna have a really good hatch rate. First time doing chickens. I mean the day that they're gonna hatch the freaking this thing. Decides to go out. I'm not going to show in there, y'all. It looks like it just looks terrible. Um, so I got to clean it up. I got to start over and do that again. I'm going to have to order me another one. I got that one up there. I'm going to use that if uh, the other one don't come in. Um, I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what else to do. I mean, I see, I mean, I had like, uh, there's, there's actually three chicks that are actually out of the shells. And just from this angle, without moving any of the eggs, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can see ten of them uh, cracked. Drag. Total drag. Okay, well, do it again. That was pretty. They they seem uh seems to me. Well, you know, I'm saying the hash rate's good, but with the chicken eggs, you can you can check them for fertility. Where with the the quail eggs, you really can't. Um, they tell you you can't open up the incubator at all uh, because the membrane will detach from the egg and because the change in temperature would, would suck them up. Or maybe, maybe if... Oh, I'm fixing y'all's food. Y'all chill out. It's coming. Um, uh, maybe I need to do a little more research with the quail eggs and see if I can... Because, you know, you, you can buy fertile eggs, quail eggs, so there's got to be a way they check them and then they ship them. I don't, I don't understand. So, I got, the, I got it open right now, kind of airing out. It smells a little bit in there. Um, let it air out some, I'm going to go clean it out. But while I was waiting on it, uh, waiting on that to clear, clear out, uh, I came out back here and I started uh, working, uh, cleaning out all this. This is my blackberry patch, and uh, the grass is all grown in it. Well, I got some, I got uh, eggplants in there, so I just can't get in there with the weed eater. So I got my little hand tiller thing. I'm going in there and I'm getting the grass out. I'm gonna clean it out, and. Um, uh, you know, collecting uh, blackberry uh, transplants. So, like, let's see, so far, one, two, three, four, I got eight, eight transplants right here. See that? Ain't that nice? Eight of them that will, and there's plenty more, y'all, there's plenty more that's growing all, all over the place. And, and I don't like them growing all over, I try to just keep them. Um, and the one, I got three little areas, and I'm actually going to downsize to two because one of the areas, no, 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 it's going to be three. It's just another area had started, and um, it grows all up in my plum tree. So I'm, I'm going to clean all that out and stop those from growing that way and getting into the plum tree and uh, try to keep it more in the middle. And I got one right here, this area by this plum tree. And I don't know, man. Maybe, 
Maybe I can take some of those new plants and move it over and start a new one in the middle here and uh, kind of get it away and just do away with that. I won't have as much of a harvest next year, uh, but it's okay because, I mean, you got to do things like that to better uh, your garden, better everything you're doing. Um, so I probably get this, it's coming up pretty easy. And uh, I'll probably get it done pretty quick. And um, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna weed eat my front yard in the gardens here, pull up some weeds like all that's growing in here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all that cleared out. And I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put some black paper down around everything to kind of help stop the weeds from growing. Then I'm gonna cover it with the pine needles. Uh, the same in here. Uh, I'm gonna do as much pine needles as I can because I got actually I have a, a a blueberry and a huckleberry there with their, their soil needs to be a little different and if I put the, the put the malt the uh, pine needles all in this area here to be good for them uh, looks like my elderberries are ready to go ahead and there's only two green ones in that batch I don't see any green ones in that batch uh, here's a batch here no green ones right there see a batch up here no green so it looks like it's and I, I cut I cut a lot of branches out of it the other day that had berries on it um, just because it's blocking uh, it was blocking my banana tree right here which I didn't want it to stifle its growth I want this thing once it grows beyond that I think I'll be okay uh, with it all intermixing together to be nice looking you know um, yeah, so, so I had to get out here early and get started early, y'all, because it's so it's so damn hot. If I don't start early, it's hard to come out here later in the day. Like if you're sitting in the air condition all day, and I, and I really believe that's some of the problem with some of us today. We get too much air condition, and it's hard for us to come outside and, and actually do some hard labor. It's always hard for young people that sit inside on their phones all day and then to come out. And they get active. Um, it's just hard sitting in the AC all day. You know, you sitting. You know, if I sat inside, even if I sat inside till like right about nine, ten o'clock, and then decided to come outside, sometimes I can't handle it. It all depends on the temperature. But like in the middle of our summers here, you know, uh, uh, the nineties is it's, it's always in the nineties, and our index is always in the hundred, hundred eight, hundred nine, hundred twelve. So we're always in that heat index that's real high, and uh, and it's just so hard to come out of 70 degree weather, cold cold air that's blowing out. And sometimes if we got it down to 68, 69. Sometimes it's hard to come from that and come out here uh, where it's 30 degrees difference. It's just hard to adjust to that, you know. Look at this feather. Where that came from. That's not nothing I have. Okay, this little this little uh, cherry tree. It's got blossoms on it. I don't know if you can see it there. A little pink flower. So something down here. A couple of flowers. So coming out here, there, nice, nice. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get y'all's dinner together. All right, so I just wanted to share with you guys the tragedy this morning, and uh, I'll keep you updated as the day goes. If not, you guys be blessed, and, uh, and I'll definitely see y'all in the next video. Okay.